Welcome back to Honor Football. Today's review is going to be on a product from McDavid. This product is called the McDavid Hex Dud Short, and it's a padded compression short. And of course, in my review, I'm going to give you all the detail. I'm going to give you things like the price, the color options, and talk a little bit about what I call the McDavid difference. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So for those of you who know me, obviously I've been a big McDavid fan. Last year, I reviewed their wrist straps. I've been a long time fan of theirs. I've used some of their compression wear, and some of their hex padding really started in 2003. That's really where they came out, they hit the market. They were the first company that I know of to do some of this padded compression wear. You all know about Allen Iverson and the arm sleeve. I think he was the first person that we saw, but McDavid was really the first company that I know of to ever produce arm sleeves and have the hex padding. So I reached out to McDavid, I wanted to review some of their stuff, and shout out to them, they were able to hook me up with some of their stuff. They even gave me this t-shirt, which I chose to wear in the review. So, Let's get back to the shorts and I'll tell you what I call the McDavid difference. First of all, just like a lot of other you know, compression wear companies, padded compression companies, they use foam in their pads. So as you can see here, this is kind of unique because they have the foam and they have the McDavid symbol. It's a five pad short, so they have the tailbone pad, got the hip pads, and they have the thigh pads right here. Also what's unique in this short is they have this camel print in the waistband and it's outfitted with a cup pocket, which is something that the Nike compression shorts, no knock on Nike, but the Nike padded compression shorts don't really have. And that's important for you guys. You saw my video on how to wear a football uniform. I didn't have a cup. There was no cup pocket even available. And then on the back here, they have a jock tag for you to put your name or number or you know whatever you choose. Well, what is the McDavid difference? At least what I call it is there's things like the protection, and the coverage and the durability of the product that make it different from just about every other product on the market. So they did do their testing. I've seen some of the research on that. And really, in my testing, so I wore these to play basketball, I wore these to play football, I wore these to snowboard, and I was protected at all times. What's different from the other girdles I have is the amount of coverage. The hip coverage is going to be larger than any hip product that you see. Any hip protection that you have from another product. The only difference is that it doesn't come up higher than the waistband. Obviously, you know, Nike is one of the popular brands that you've seen. They start going up higher than the, than the waist. That's something that I don't prefer, so I still stick with the, the ones that are at the waist. I mean, David does offer one that's higher than the waist, though, if that's something that you choose. But they do have a larger imprint here for more impact protection. The tailbone. In snowboarding, this is something that saved me. This is the largest tailbone pad that I've seen on any of the padded compression wear products. So I don't have one here to show it to you, but it is longer and it is a little bit wider and that provides more protection. It's something that I can feel too. It didn't bother me, but I can feel it when I'm wearing it that the protection is there. Now the thigh pads are interesting because depending on which compression or padded compression short you're looking at, you're not going to have more protection in terms of coverage than some of the other pads. This does not wrap around your leg. It does, and I'll show you when I you know, put it on, but it does stay on the front of your thigh. So depending on what type of play you want and protection you want, this is something that may be good for you. I particularly like these shorts because I do think it's one of the most versatile girdles that you can wear. It doesn't cover the side, so it's not gonna be too bulky. It doesn't provide a necessary coverage, but it does provide adequate and more coverage in key areas like the hip and the tailbone. So I, like I said, I use it for basketball, I use it for snowboarding, I use it for football. On the website, they tell you that you can use it for hockey uh, in a variety of sports. One of the other main differences between this compression short and the other brands is that you're not going to experience any shrinkage. I already told you that I don't dry my compressive wear. If you've seen my other videos, by no means I'll put it in the dryer. The McDavid one, the brand, is the only one that they assure you in the material that you can wash and dry it and it's not going to shrink. They've done tests on this stuff, it works, it's not going to shrink. Retail, this goes for $60, it's kind of up there with the rest of them, you know, protective girdles, but it does come in the most colors that I've ever seen, so that's another benefit. Of course, I chose to get red, because as you know, or maybe you don't know, but red's my favorite color. Also playing with a new team where red is one of, it's actually maroon, but red is close enough, so I thought that'd be unique to put on, you know, underneath my pants, but... Besides red, which they actually call scarlet, it comes in a black, it comes in a charcoal, it comes in a navy, it comes in a royal blue, and it comes in a white. So those six colors, you have your options. 
uh, definitely go and check out their website. So here goes a quick look at the compression shorts on. I actually went with a size large. So these fit true to size and I was on the bubble so I went with the larger size. I'd recommend going with the smaller size if you like them a little bit tighter. You can see that there's a little gap here and here where it's not hugged to my leg and that's because I went with the bigger size. So if you are on the bubble, definitely go with the smaller size for a little bit of a tighter fit. We can see the coverage on the thighs. It does go a little bit to the side here. Here's a side look. You can see the coverage on the hip. And if you take a look at the back, you can see the coverage on the tailbone. Take a look at my other padded compression reviews. You can see that this is by far the most coverage on the hips and the tailbone. So that's my review. If you enjoyed it, remember to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, share with your friends, like my video, and I'll see you guys next time.